Hi, I'm Nick. I am one of the lower elementary educators. I'm Kate, and I am a lower elementary teacher here at Hudson Lab School. The driving question for this particular project was, who am I and how do I communicate this to the world? And after we learned all kinds of beautiful things about each other, we decided to create a museum to share it with our family and friends. These are the portraits of us. Um, we started our study by doing one self-portrait using just black pen. Um, and we looked in a mirror and we thought about the shape of our face, the shape of our eyes, what our hair looked like, the texture. And afterwards, we all sat around our portraits and we reflected on what was missing. And they noticed that there was no hair color, there was no eye color, there was no skin color. This is the data of us. Um, this captures all of our physical characteristics, the things that people can see on the outside. So we have our hair color, our eye color, and our skin color. Once we printed them out, they organized them in the way they thought was best. And so this was a way for us to kind of get into that data organization piece. Our skin color was a little bit more in depth because they had to uh, mix paints to approximate their own skin colors. Once they did that, we asked them to think of a name for their skin color. We got some really amazing ones like cinnamon dark chocolate, lemon light, really light corn, sand, heat fire, sparkly gold sunshine, so there's a lot of amazing ones. We made it into a circle because we felt like it's sort of a continuum as opposed to just like dark to light. Um, they all kind of blend into each other. We wanted them to see how they are both unique to themselves but also part of a group. Okay. So we moved on to our color self-portrait, which they used skin color, colored pencils in order to capture the right skin tone. They used watercolors to find just the right shades of their eyes, and they used colored pencils to find the right color of their hair. So after we gathered data about our physical characteristics, we moved on to what goes on inside of us, so our emotions, things that people can't see. We read the book The Color Monster, which is one of our favorites, and we introduced six different emotions. So happy, sad, love, calm, scared, and angry. And each of those emotions were connected to colors. Um, then for two weeks in their morning sign-in journals, we had a survey, which was how are you feeling today? And for each day, they would fill in a color corresponding to how they were feeling when they picked up. After the two weeks, each kid had 10 emotions. We collected them all together into a giant chart here um, so that we could see how our classroom felt overall. Um, as you can see, there was a lot of green, which is calm, which we like to see. There's a lot of yellow, which is happy. Um, there was a lot of mixed up because it's kindergarten, and that's how it goes. Um, and once we did this, we started talking about the museum and how you organize different kinds of data to be more friendly to look at. So for studying it in class, this helped us see how many, but then when we were doing the museum, we wanted to share it with the parents that was more beautiful, which is this thing over here. We moved on to asking questions about why am I feeling sad and why is this shifting throughout the day? So I may come in feeling calm, and then by the end of the day, I've been sad, happy, mixed up, and all over in between. So we decided to think about why is this happening? And from there, we started talking about the ideas of respect and disrespect. So what we did is we had little buckets with counters, each corresponding to one of the emotions. And throughout the day, they were self-monitoring. And whenever they did something respectful or disrespectful, we wanted them to think about how that made somebody else feel. So if they gave somebody a compliment at the writing table and that person felt happy, they would come over, grab a yellow one, and pop it in the respect bucket. Um, at the end of the day, we counted all the ones that we had in the respect bucket and all the ones that we had in the disrespect bucket, and there was almost double the respect ones. Um, which was cool because they decided that they wanted to be in a respectful classroom because we noticed a pattern where happiness, calm, and love all went into the respect bucket and sadness, fear, and angry all went into the disrespect bucket. And that self-organized and they saw that as really powerful and they all decided that they wanted to be in a respectful classroom. So that was really cool. What we want to do is build kids who know how to respect people in the world regardless of who they are. We're working now on combining 
the different emotions into new emotions. So we talk about like, if you're angry and sad, it then becomes purple, which is frustrated. And that's sort of where we're taking it next. After we took a few weeks to learn all about ourselves by doing self-portraits and brain portraits and gathering data about each other through our emotion study and talking about our hair color and eye color and skin color, we eventually asked the kids, now that we have done all of this work learning about each other, how do we share this with our family and friends? And they came up with the idea of creating a museum um, about us. When we went to the museum, we went on a tour of self-portraits and the museum educator took us around and we saw self-portraits of all different varieties and the kids got to connect to their own self-portraits. We saw Red Groom's The Bookstore where the kids got to walk through and kind of experience art in a big way. And right next to Red Groom's Bookstore is actually a model of the bookstore and the kids were extremely fascinated by this so when we came back to school after the museum tour we decided to design what our museum should look like and we created our own model of the museum um, in order to kind of think through like where different things should be where should the artwork be and we created groups based on interest so we had a group of curators a group of designers and a group of educators or tour guides the curators job was to take all of the artwork that we were going to put in the the museum and decide where it was going to go on the walls and we used the museum model for that. We cut out miniaturized versions of our self-portraits and all of the data that we'd gathered and um, they glued them where they thought they should go. The designers were in charge of dreaming up the overall design of the museum. One of the components of that was stained glass and so we did a mini unit on stained glass windows and how those are made and we created our own version of stained glass windows. Um, and the tour guides, educators were in charge of knowing everything there was to know about what was in the museum, being ready and available to answer questions for the guest when they came to the museum.